Welcome or welcome back to your secret tutor. So let's get into the topic quickly. So today we are going to see consumption function. So the consumption function of the the consumption function of propensity to consume refers to the income consumption relationship. In a so rangana, even though income ko consumption ko la relationship of din ranga, income na even though tani fata mansion or income kade, it is not individual income or individual consumption. We are talking about the economy's income and economy's consumption. For economy or day, consumption or income pati and then our park or either into the cold relationship with them and then amena solvo consumption function of din solvo. So, in the next point, Paranga, that is, the it is a functional relationship between two aggregates. Two aggregates. Aggregates, na, in this order, it is a macro values, okay? So, it is a macro value, and then, na, in the total consumption and gross national income. Gross national income, na, na, in the second chapter, it is what? National income. So, total consumption ko gross national income that is national income ko illa relationship da vandu uh, what is that consumption function abindro so if they are asking what is consumption function you can either write it as it refers to the relationship between consumption or and income or it is a functional relationship between two aggregates that is total consumption and gross national income ipdiyo edala so when you want to represent it in a functional form you can write it as c is equal to is a function of y. Abhina, another consumption is a function of income. Abhina, Ranga. So, f and the function. Right? So, if next papo. Here they are saying, assuming other things being same or unchanged, only income consumption relationship is considered. So, what are they saying? We are assuming other things, other things that can influence our consumption pattern. Abhina, another number of consumption pattern, which is the effect on the chances will go. Constant change consumption pattern of the taste and preference, technology change technology changes, consume and the Mari Vishangalella change assume change change income change assume so here what they are saying we are assuming that other things being same or unchanged only income consumption relationship is considered income vandu evlo consumption affect pannu adha mattum da vandu namu consider pannikrom in the consumption function la so or assumption irukku nalla nyabagochukonga that is other things being unchanged citrus paribus namba solluvom dia so adhu da idu so next in the function of the nala tediva punjikla, then we say that C is equal to function of Y, that is consumption is a function of Y. It is very clear that consumption function indicates a relationship between consumption and income. So in the function of the kandipa C na in the Y na in nala tediva So C is the dependent variable. In the equal symbol ke left hand side lagar dena na dependent variable. Adha vandu right hand side like variable is it is dependent on income so consumption is dependent variable and income is independent variable fine so left hand side like the dependent variable right hand side like the independent variable so what determines what income determines consumption or change ko income change aga aga consumption change aga so in the function the other than fine so next number papo in the schedule on work another income consumption pattern paakalo so third column la vande namba savings of kaamichirukanga so onnu na paapom inge paaka vendiya vishayam enna na vande income y is when y is zero income zero a irukumbodhu consumption enna irukku 20 a irukku so see and the constant irrespective of income whether you are earning or not nee sambadikiriyo illayo vande unakku or alavukku Consumption is required for me. That is why you can use the savings to use the savings. Fine. So, what do you say about that? Irrespective of your income, if you are consuming, even if your income is zero and you are consuming, that type of consumption is called as autonomous consumption. Autonomous consumption. Okay? That is called as autonomous consumption. So, when your income is zero and there is some amount of consumption, such consumption is called as autonomous consumption. Okay? So next to Paranga, and the income in Nagada, zero and the sixty could change Agada. So what is the change in income? Delta Y number denote Pandro and change in income is sixty units. In the unit in a Kutrakanga, crores. 
crores of rupees kodutirukanga and the table la paarenga crores of rupees kodutirukanga so 60 crores increase aagumbodhu aggregate income national income idu okay so national income 60 crores a increase aagumbodhu consumption evlo change aagudhu and the 70 ku 20 ku illa difference so change in consumption is what 50 units consumption 50 units aagudhu so what is the change in consumption to the change in income endha alavukku indha ratio paakrom appadina the change in consumption to the change in income adu paakano appadina see so the change in consumption to the change in income is denoted by delta c divided by delta y change in consumption to the change in income adu paathona mathematically you see 50 paathom 70 minus 20 50 inge 70 minus 20 50 and is 60 because the change in income is equal to 60 adu paathuna namalku or number kadaikudhu 0.83333 nu poitt irukku so in the term change in consumption to the change in income adha vandu technically we call it as marginal propensity to consume for every change in income what is the relative change in consumption so adha da vandu marginal propensity to consume abindrom so onoda income change aaga aaga onoda consumption pattern endha alavukku change aagum abindrathu da vandu marginal propensity to consume la solranga so how is it measured change in consumption to the change in income so i hope you have understood this so mathematically you can say it as c is equal to 20 plus 0.84 na the 333 indratha vandu 4 a convert panikena Fine, or otherwise, apply 333 kodu pottu kalam. So, it is consumption is equal to 20 plus 0.84 multiplied by y. Inga yaya apdi solro apdi in paapo. So, inga paarunga, in the function correcta illi, and the mathematical equation correcta illi apdi in paakano na, inga or therava problem solve kodu pani paakalam. So, you see here, நம்ம சால்வ் பண்ணி பார்ப்போம் சி இப்போ வந்து இன்கம் ஜீரோ அப்படின்னு வச்சிருப்போம் இங்க இன்கம் ஜீரோவா கொடுத்துருக்காங்களா இந்த இன்கம் ஜீரோவா இருந்துச்சுன்னா நம்ம கன்சம்ஷன் எவ்வளவு இருக்கு ஒய் இடத்துல இஃப் வி சப்ஸ்டிடியூட் ஜீரோ இன் பிளேஸ் ஆஃப் ஒய் வாட் இஸ் ஆன்சர் ஹியர் இட் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு ஜீரோ அண்ட் யுவர் கன்சம்ஷன் இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஸோ வி கெட் த ரைட் ஆன்சர் டுவெண்ட்டி நவ் லெட் இஸ் புட் சப்ஸ்டிடியூட் சிக்ஸ்டி இன் த பிளேஸ் ஆஃப் ஒய் இந்த சிக்ஸ்டிய வந்து ஒய் இடத்துல வந்து சப்ஸ்டியூட் பண்ணி பார்ப்போம் So, y க்கு பதிலாக நம்ம வந்து சிக்ஸ்டியை போடுறோம்னு வச்சுக்குமே சிக்ஸ்டி மல்டிப்ளைட் பை எயிட் பாயிண்ட் ஃபோர் பார்க்கணும் சிக்ஸ்டி மல்டிப்ளைட் பை சாரி ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் எயிட் ஃபோர் ஓகே ஸோ அது போட்டால் நமக்கு என்ன வருது ஃபிஃப்டி வருது ஃபிஃப்டி பாயிண்ட் ஃபோர் அப்ராக்சிமேட்டாக ப்ளஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி இங்கே இருக்கு ஸோ ப்ளஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி பண்ணோன்னா என்ன வருது செவன்டி ஸோ இன்கம் இடத்துல நம்ம சிக்ஸ்டிய சப்ஸ்டியூட் பண்ணும் போது கன்சம்ஷன் எவ்வளோ வருது செவன்டி பாயிண்ட் ஃபோர் வருது இட் இஸ் அப்ராக்சிபேட் நம்பர் தான் நம்ம வந்து த்ரீ எயிட் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ த்ரீ த்ரீன்னு போட்டோம்னா வந்து அகெயின் வி வில் கெட் எக்ஸாக்ட் நம்பர் ஸோ இதே இடத்த இடத்துல வந்து நம்ம ஒய்க்கு பதிலாக ஒய் இடத்துல ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி போட்டு பார்ப்போம் இன்னொரு தடவை ஸோ ஃபை ஆர் கிளா கிளாரிஃபிகேஷன் தான் ஸோ ஒய் வந்து ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டியாக இருந்துச்சுன்னா ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி Y 120 multiplied by this marginal propensity to consume that is 0.84 now we can have value for the 100.8 in correct the plus 20 you know we are getting the value 20 so when income is 20 your consumption is sorry when income is 120 your consumption is also 120. So, in the table ல வந்து அப்படியே நம்ம மேத்தமெட்டிக்கல் ஃபார்ம்ல குட்டி எவ்வளோ பெரிய டேபிள்ல வந்து ஒரு சின்ன மேத்தமெட்டிக்கல் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஈக்வேஷன்ல காமிக்கணும் அப்படின்னா வந்து இந்த மாதிரி காமிக்கலாம் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் மேத்தமெட்டிக்கலி எக்ஸ்பிரஸிங் ஆர் கன்சம்ஷன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஸோ இதை வந்து ஷார்ட்டா பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னா இத இதை வந்து ஒரு ஜென்ரல் ஃபார்ம்ல கொண்டு வரணும் இது வந்து இந்த மேத்த இந்த டேபிளுக்கு நம்ம இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு இக்வேஷன் கொண்டு வந்திருக்கோம் இதை ஒரு ஜென்ரல் ஃபார்ம்ல கொண்டு வரணும் அப்படின்னா வந்து வி கேன் சே ஸோ நம்மளோட கன்சம்ஷன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் இது இக்வேஷன் அக்கார்டிங் டு த டேபிள் ஸோ ஜென்ரல் ஜென்ரலாக கொடுக்கணும் அப்படின்னா வந்து வி கேன் கிவ் இட் லைக் த சி இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ பிளஸ் பிஒய் அப்படின்னு ஸோ இங்க ஏ என்னது 
A and C and Y and N pathum. Conceive and the consumption as we all know. A and the aton constant or intercept of the end. So, we already path and the mumble con is the 20 and the 20 and the autonomous consumption. So, A and the autonomous consumption at the alarm. So, Y and the income. B and the mumble king gave on the 8.4 obtained record on the marginal propensity to consume. So, this is a general form, general equation, consumption function is general. Fine. So, here you have to remember certain things. Or solution on the point there, you know, A is always this autonomous consumption. Since A is autonomous consumption, it should be always greater than zero. Because you know that even when there is no income, we are going to consume. So, it, it, will, it will always be greater than zero. And next point you have to note that B should be always positive. It should be greater than 0 and less than 1. 1 is here, 0 is here. It is always, this marginal propensity to consume is always positive. Why is it? Consumption is an increasing function. Income chain increase aga aga or our consumption will increase. But why is it? It is not equal to 1. On day, consumption one are this na always your income there will be no savings at all. Need when the earn pan rathi, all me you will be spending it. Okay, you will be consuming it. If that is, if uh, MPC is equal to one, there will be no savings at all. In fact, you will be spending more than what you are earning. Fine. So uh, according to the psychological law of consumption, this has to be lesser than one but greater than zero. Uh, we'll talk about the psychological consumption function later. Fine. Okay. So now in the table in the points number the papung consumption is an increasing function of income. So you see as income increases your consumption is also increasing. That's why it's written like this. Consumption is an increasing function of income because consumption expenditure increases with increase in income. So, consumption expenditure is increasing. Obviously, the consumption function is increasing. Consumption expenditure is increasing with the increase in income. So, it is shown that when income is zero, people spend out of their past savings. So, when income is zero, there is dis savings. So, in the minus 20, minus 10, we have the dis savings. Otherwise, they can also get some loans. So that that is happening when your income is zero but still there is some amount of consumption so that kind of consumption is called as autonomous consumption okay so next let's just get into the diagram see the diagram the one the blue line and the blue line denotes consumption so and there is a gap here okay we are starting from y-axis i'm already part on the 20 and the number autonomous consumption the consumption line always it starts from y-axis so it will start from y-axis and then you have another line here which is starting from origin and they have given it as a 45 degree line okay this 45 degree line in the line of income and it is also equal to consumption so here this line denotes that income is always equal to consumption and the line is in the 45 degree line Remember this, why we are having this 45 degree line, what it denotes now the consumption is equal to income plane. Okay, so here you see, the 45 degree line may therefore be regarded as zero savings line because when everything that has been earned is consumed, there will be no savings at all. So it is also called as zero savings line. Fine. So this 45 degree line, in this 45 degree line, we can clearly say that there is no savings at all. So, whatever is earned is being spent on consumption, fine. Right? And then the shape of shape and the position of C curve indicates the division of income between consumption and savings. Okay. So, in the uh, in the C curve, 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 the division of income between consumption and savings. So, in the C curve, only earn another earn pandrathukku unnoda consumption ku illa difference paakalainga you see this is your income and this is your consumption so till this point b till this point b your consumption is greater than income so what is happening the area below b 
in the area below b you are disaving there is just savings it is no, there is no savings at all and here at this point b your income that is 120 okay your income is equal to your consumption so again there is no savings at all zero savings but after this point b you can see that your income line is greater than your consumption line it is above your income line is above your consumption line and you can also see here when your income is 80 you are only consuming 70 but of course your consumption is increasing because we have already seen that consumption is a increasing function income is increasing and consumption consumption is also increasing but there is still some savings that is some 10 rupees savings is there you see 10 crore so savings is there so 180 and here 170 if you are subtracting this that is your savings as you as the line goes on you see there is some amount of savings which is also increasing and your consumption is also increasing and that is why we are saying adanalai inge koduthirukanga the shape and position of c curve indicates the division of income between consumption and savings so in the income lende namai endha alavukku inda economy save pannudhu endha alavukku consume pannudhu endradhu vende in the c line la denote pannirudhu see the difference between y line that red line and blue line shows the savings so from this consumption function we are not only learning how much the consumption pattern we are also seeing the savings pattern in an economy fine so it is not only uh, it is not only talking about consumption it's also talking about savings so i hope you have understood this consumption function so you were with your secret tutor until next time this is your secret tutor saying bye bye take care so come back next time thank you for watching